Apple slowed down your iPhone, and here's why. Data from a benchmarking firm confirmed long-held suspicions that Apple has been intentionally slowing down older iPhones. The tech giant has confirmed as much, but claims it's not a conspiracy theory to get you to buy their newer models, and is instead a battery issue. Lithium-ion batteries degrade over time and can only hold an 80% charge after 500 charge cycles. This, along with cold climate or a low charge, affects performance. Older iPhone models tend to draw more power than their batteries can handle, which can cause the device to suddenly and unexpectedly shut down. To prevent this, Apple's new iOS update throttles CPU speeds on older models in order to limit how much power is drawn from the battery. A number of users have worked around the issue by replacing their batteries, which reportedly restored the phones to their normal speed. Critics have slammed Apple for its lack of transparency, pointing out that users should have been informed of the issue and possible solutions. Most mistakenly believed they needed to upgrade to newer models, when really, a battery replacement would have sufficed. Keep watching for more Apple controversies. Apple investigating swelling iPhone 8 batteries. Nearly half a dozen iPhone 8 Plus owners from around the world have seen their devices cracking and swelling. The swelling in these cases reportedly occurs when the iPhone 8 Plus's lithium-ion battery is charging. Apple says it is investigating the problem and is in possession of one of the damaged phones. Five iPhone 8 Plus owners in Canada, Greece, Japan, Taiwan and Hong Kong have reported similar issues. According to Apple news site Mac Rumors, it's common for a small number of devices out of the millions made to have some battery issues. Last year, Samsung was forced to recall hundreds of their Galaxy Note 7 phones after users reported battery problems, some of which caused devices to combust. Apple says new $1,000 iPhone may get screen burn. Did you make it rain on the new iPhone X? Then you may want to keep an eye on the screen. Apple's support page for the device is that in extremely rare cases, the iPhone X OLED screen may suffer from burn-in. Some Pixel 2 XL users experienced this last month. It's like a ghost image left over from a high contrast image that's been displayed for long periods of time. Apple company says they engineered the new display to reduce the effects of burn-in. Google didn't offer a fix for the screen burn-in on Pixel 2 XL phones, but did extend the device warranty to two years. EU tells Apple it's time to pay your taxes. The European Commission yesterday ordered U.S. tech giant Apple to pay Ireland the equivalent of 14.5 billion U.S. dollars in unpaid taxes on its foreign profits. Up until 2014, Apple had a sweet tax deal with Ireland, where its subsidiaries registered there hold IP rights to the company's products outside of North and South America. Apple Sales International and Apple Operations Europe both fell from the apple tree and landed in the Emerald Isle. But Apple Sales International's head office is not tax registered anywhere. Around 90% of Apple's foreign profits, including all European profits, are earned by these two companies. And there's nothing illegal about that. The EU's beef is that only a tiny bite of the profits were taxed in Ireland before the bulk of the cash was sent to another Apple subsidiary that isn't tax registered anywhere. Even though $14.5 billion would put Ireland back in the black, the Irish government doesn't want the money. It fears jeopardizing Ireland's long-term relationship with Apple, which employs 5,500 people in the country. The U.S. is also not happy with the EU because Uncle Sam has his eye on taking a slice of Apple's profits for the U.S. Treasury. Apple has around $215 billion sitting in its foreign subsidiaries, which has never been taxed in the U.S. Apple says it will hold the $14.5 billion in escrow while it appeals the EU's decision. Here's another reason to just ride your bike. Apple reportedly gave Uber's iPhone app access to a secret back door that potentially allows the company to record a user's screen and access other personal information without his or her knowledge. A majority of iPhone apps use software to enable features like the camera or Apple Pay, known as entitlements. However, Apple keeps certain entitlements for itself to allow optimal integration with the iPhone. Uber was found to be the only app other than Apple's own apps granted access to the entitlement. Uber says the entitlement isn't being used, and it is working with Apple to remove the API completely from the app. Security researcher Will Strafich, who discovered the situation, said this, 
Granting such a sensitive entitlement to a third party is unprecedented as far as I can tell. No other app developers have been able to convince Apple to grant them entitlements. They've needed to let their apps utilize certain privileged system functionality. Anyone need a lift instead?